Hello, I'm Kristen Harris, your inspirational financial success coach, and I'm here to share that financial planning is not just for the wealthy. Let me begin to tell you why. Economically speaking, did you know that approximately 50% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck? 58% of Americans also have less than $1,000 saved. Approximately 44% of Americans do not have enough cash to cover a $400 emergency. And only about 32% of American families use a household budget. And similarly, only 25 to 30% of Americans are estimated to have written financial plans. Furthermore, the U.S. average household median income is about $60,000. If any of these statistics speak to you personally, then by the numbers, you're not alone. In fact, these statistics emphasize the importance of why having a financial plan for the average American is fundamental in the quest of building financial sustainability and wealth. So what is wealth? According to New Oxford American Dictionary, wealth is defined as an abundance of valuable possessions or money, the state of being rich, material prosperity, and plentiful supplies of a particular resource or a desirable thing. That definition may reflect what most of us think about when it comes to wealth, but that definition alone may not appeal to the masses who aspire to build. How about exploring other definitions? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary version defines wealth as the total of one's money and property, a considerable amount, and finally as an amount or supply more than sufficient to meet one's needs. You may have heard many other words that are similar to wealth, such as assets, capital, means, wherewithal, worth, abundance, savings, excess, and surplus. Of course, there is always the opposite of wealth, words that we are familiar with, like debts and liabilities and debtness, deficiency, inadequacy, insufficiency, scarcity, and poverty. These definitions hopefully sound a little more aligned with a realistic reach when it comes to building wealth. Because ultimately, we all want the opposite of poverty and scarcity, and we are striving to have increased wherewithal, increased worth, and assets. Thus, we need to be more strategic about having an amount or supply that is more than sufficient to meet one's needs. Therefore, we need to financially plan, especially in light of the statistics I just shared with you. So what is a financial plan? A financial plan is a comprehensive representation and evaluation of an individual's financial standing and goals, ultimately to secure, protect, and enhance current and future income and assets. Financial planning is an ongoing process with goals set and achieved in a step-by-step -step approach, and it acts as an interactive guide as you go through life's journey. Essentially, financial plans help you to proactively control your income, expenses, and investments such that you can manage your money and achieve your financial destiny. Various components of financial planning include cash flow management, debt management, tax management, and investment management. A successful financial plan includes understanding your why, assessing your personal and financial circumstances, defining and agreeing on your financial objectives and goals, implementing and advancing those newly defined financial objectives and goals, monitoring your progress, reviewing and updating your plans and goals continually. Actions you can take. Adjust your mindset and approach when it comes to wealth and financial planning because financial planning is not just for the wealthy. A key first step in financial planning is understanding your why. Focus on creating a vision. What is your why? What motivates you? What do you want to achieve financially? Define what financial success means to you. Everything else flows from here. This video was brought to you by 1AZ Credit Union. If you like it or found it beneficial, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get some great financial education. If you know someone who needs this sort of information, be sure to share the video with them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in our next 
video.